Man, keep talking about the song, man. Show me the song. Play the song, please. I bet money ain't no song. I bet it ain't no song. I got his finesse. Game. Eh, talk about talking about. You don't hang with no rats. Nigga, your cousin a rat. My terrier told on true. That man true still book. My terrier done got booked, came home and got booked again. Truth still doing time by that shit he told on, boy. <laughs> boy, them niggas going up off me, boy. I thought I was going to give the song, guys. <laughs> Find that song. Find that song. Nigga set up the boxing match. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I can damage you up, too. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but... I know what I've been through. Now today I want to talk about the whole Quando Rondo, uh, Lil Tim, uh, six nine situation, right? Now it seems like ever since Quando came out, um, he's been talking about the King Von situation. He's been he, suddenly he's a rapper now. He's doing all this, right? But it seems like nothing's been catching for him. I, I guess he thought talking about the whole King Von situation was going to give him some type of light, some type of view, some type of clout. But when that didn't work. He started doing things like this. Now, to be honest with you, totally honest with you, I'm going to say that this whole 6 9 and Lil Tim situation, it all sounds scripted. It all sounds like uh, a money play. It all sounds like this was in the works for them to do so they can make some type of money. All right, and that's just my personal opinion. Um, y'all probably feel different. Y'all let me know in the comments below, man, why y'all feel the way y'all do. But I'm going to let y'all know how, I mean, why I feel the way I do. And certain things just don't make sense for one. And two, six nine. This is what he does, man. He trolls. He has to troll. He has to keep out energy. Cause if not, he has no other way of staying relevant. All right. Nobody cares about six nine, and nobody cares about little Tim. So I feel that they came up with this plot to make up fake controversy, so they could all get some type of money, some type of clout, some type of fame, some type of something towards it. So. I'm going to break all this down today, man. Y'all let me know y'all feel in the comments. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And I swear, I swear, I swear, it's lit here. So join one of the most litest gangs on YouTube so you can stay updated with some of the realest content. Now let's get straight into it. Now when it comes to the whole 6 9 Lil Tim situation, we all know that they both are craving for some type of notoriety, some type of recognition, some type of something. Now, all this all started back when WAC 100, he announced that 6 9 and Lil Tim will have a video and a, a, a song coming out. Right? Now, notice the people that I'm naming, 6 9 Lil Tim, and WAC 100. Now, lately, WAC 100, he's been... You know, pretty close with 6 9 doing a lot of weird, random trolling. You know, he's another one trying to keep his name relevant because if WAC 100 is not in the headlines arguing with some type of celebrity or somebody, nobody's paying WAC 100 any type of mind. I right? Even when he's arguing with them, nobody's paying him no mind. But for the simple fact that, you know, dramas and negativity tend to spread faster than anything, you know, he gets across the board. So, now... WAC 100 came out and said that 6 9 and Lil Tim has a video and a song coming out. Lil Tim rushed to the internet after that to deny the claims that he has a song coming out with 6 9 and whatever, whatever. And this is another thing y'all got to pay attention to because it seems like day by day, things come out. And that's how you know, once again, that it's all scripted. Monday, it'll come out that WAC 100 said that 6 9 and Lil Tim have a song and a video together. Then Tuesday, 6 9 will come online talking his rah, rah, rah. And then Wednesday, Lil Tim will respond. And then Thursday, there'll be a video between them uh, showing that Lil Tim was there. You see what I'm saying? It's like in sequential order. Like they know what they're doing. It's strategic. All right. And this only brings me back to when Lil Dirk announced that 6 ix team, you know, back when they had that little situation with Lil, um, um, 6 ix 9 was sitting there trolling them. 6 ix management contacted him and his management and offered to pay Lil Dirk to sit there and carry out a fake beef. Act like they beefing between each other and blah, blah, blah. This is exactly what it seems like to me. 
what Lil Tim and Six Nine is doing, it seems it's, it's it sounds fake. First and foremost, they got a video. Well, before we even rush into that, right? So let, let me break it down. So Wag One Hundred came out and said that Six Nine and Lil Tim have a, a video and a song coming out. Uh, Lil Tim he came rushed online to say that they don't. They're lying. It's all cap. He never been in the studio. He didn't do no song with them. Blah blah blah. Then Six Nine said you're lying. Blah blah. blah. You're fronting. Ah. Uh -uh. Then the next day after that, he releases the video. After he releases the video, now Lil Tim he comes out and say, "Well, yeah, I was there, but I didn't do the song. I finessed you." So right then and there, that's already a red flag. Lil Tim is already lied. He already lied because first he said he wasn't with Six Nine. He said he don't know what they talking about. They lying X Y Z, right? Then it comes out they actually was in there. Now to be honest with you, when I seen the video. I personally thought that the video was a front. I thought once again, Six Nine is trolling. He just said he just got fake things going around because you know he's trying to stay relevant. And one thing I realized about Six Nine, he mastered uh, the, the 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 ability to play on people's emotions, to play on people's um, better judgment. And when I say that is, he knows that he doesn't have to have full truth he knows that he doesn't have to have like real truth to 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 to, to stay relevant meaning that he can make up a lie as long as it's believable to a couple people that's all he need so all he needs is at least a hundred people to be online and say yo six nine is doing this six nine is doing that and that's all he needs to stay relevant and he knows that out of a thousand people, at least uh, as long as he has a hundred of them saying, yo, you know, six nine did this, six, nine, that's all he wants. So I started to think that maybe the video was fake, but come to find out, little Tim himself confirmed that the video was in fact real, but he's saying that they tried to get him to do a song, but he didn't do the song. He was making up all type of reasons why he can't. Uh, he pretty much finessed six nine out of, I don't know whether it's money or Whatever the case may be, my thing is this. If 6ix9ine is this rat or whatever the case may be, I don't care what type of finesse you think you was doing. You should not be in the studio with this man. You should not be around this man. You should not be conversing with this man. But these are things that these these guys don't seem to realize, man. Um, and they keep making excuses. But I also think that this is all part of a plan. This is all like it's all foolish it just doesn't make sense at the end of the day i think this is all just for show i think this is all for fake controversy to get some type of money generating between the two i believe that if six nine gave the same type of offer that he tried to get to dirt to little tim that he will take it because what does he got to lose you see what i'm saying what what, what? he needs the money yes he does I don't care how much bust down Cartier watches, how much this it sound like. No, he needs the money. You can tell. So at the end of the day, man, like I said, I I don't want to drown out this video too long. I just want to let you know that I think this video is fugazi. I think it's fake. I think what's happening right now is they just trying to get everybody's emotions going, their energy. I think they're trying to generate some type of clout, some type of money. And that's all it is, it's just a money grab. I don't believe it for one second, man. That video looks weird, it looks fake. And they just having a ball with this. So at the end of the and then not to mention, Lil Tim, if you really want to boil down to it, he seemed like he's lying. It all seems scripted. Then they got some new thing out to where it shows where how 6ix9ine only came to the studio with one person, and then Lil Tim came to the studio with like at least 10 to 15 people. You got blogs running around saying, oh, well, look, look how he pull up and look how he pull up. Like, it's all just a big stage, man. It's all foolishness. So don't pay attention to y'all. Um, Don't pay attention to it, y'all. Um, Like I said, it's all foolishness. I think this is all for clout. It's all for money. It's all just to generate some type of some type of clout something who knows anyway yeah let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments man don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content and remember as long as you keep on watching i'm gonna keep on dropping i'm out